So what's up everyone and welcome to another Subnautica video. So today's video is not really a play by play and instead I wanted to talk about some of the recent problems I had with regards to lags and crashes with this game. It just started getting really bad for me and so I went around in the internet to figure out how to fix it and so I decided to make a short video with regards to what I found. Now, I don't know if anybody else has played this game long enough to know, but if you start playing this game for quite a bit of time, then what you find is that you start getting lags like what you see right here. And these lags go on for quite a bit of time. Uh, if you especially uh, travel to different uh, areas of the map quickly, then you start getting a lot of these lags to pile on. And if it gets really bad, then what you find out is you get kicked out of the game. And so this basically starts happening if you start playing the game for quite a bit of time. And from what it sounds like, it's because the game starts memorizing some of the independent changes that are for your own save game, such as if you drop a piece of item at a certain area, or if you start digging in a certain area or whatever, then you start changing the terrain and that starts causing a lot of information to start building up especially if you start dropping things and create like useless junk information and this then starts creating lags whenever you end up trying to go into that area now this problem seems to be relatively well known and you do see forums regarding subnautica that talk about this and the fixes that can be done for that and I will um, post some of the links with regards to some of these uh, solutions below. But uh, I haven't seen too many videos with regards to how to resolve this. So I thought that I would make my experience anyway with regards to what you need to do in case you couldn't find any other video with regards to this. So from what I can figure out, uh, to resolve this problem, you have to actually go into your game save files and delete some of the files that are related to these components in the game. Now you don't have to worry, these are not the actual save game files, but they are complementary files to each save game that I guess records all of these little terrain changes that are specific to your file. So if you, for example, dropped a piece of titanium or if you uh, change the terrain section somewhere, then those are the things that get memorized in these files. So as you can see, the program file is located under the Steam folder in a section called Steam's Apps and then Common. And then of course you choose the Subnautica section and then you find the Snap Data. And there you'll find the save games and you choose the appropriate save game that you want to clean up. And what you'll find is things, things called Cell Cache and Compiled OC trees cache. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but these two folders basically contain all these little quirks and changes that you've done due to playing the game for quite a bit of time. So it, what is often suggested is first you actually back these two files up in a separate location. And then once it's all backed up so that it's safe, then you delete both of these. And what that will do is reset all of your terrain back to what it was at the very beginning of the game. So I have tried this fix myself and it does seem to work. It will take your virtually unplayable game due to crashes and lags and bring it back to what it was when you initially started the game. So for anybody who has played this game and experienced these crashes and lags, you will know what I'm talking about. Now this fix isn't without quirks. Um, because you are resetting everything in the terrain, what you'll find is all those items and things that you scanned and took in the initial part of the game will respawn back into the game. Now some people might find this useful because now you got all these abundant items again, but some people will find that this is quite interesting in a sense that uh, you will get a deja vu sort of effect. Now what can be more problematic is if you've made a lot of changes in the train due to the bases that you've built. And of course once everything resets again then now you have conflict due to the terrain that has reset back or possibly has even changed due to the updates 
and the base that you have and what you find is is that you get this kind of overlap between the terrain and the base as you see here where the mound is now digging right into the base and of course this isn't too bad for this episode this is actually my tower build and as you remember I kind of mentioned how this how laggy this was well after I fixed it the lags went away but as you can see I now have a little bit of this mound coming in now this was worse actually for my new play Subnautica game where I had a lot of uh, terrain stuck in here and there are a couple of ways to fix this of which I will talk about one way here there is a more drastic way which actually is quite a bit easier but I'm not sure if it's acceptable to the game developers all that well so I'll leave a link to again some of the solutions that other people have found and you can find the other method in those uh, links that I give below but anyway, so you have to find a way of clearing this out. The problem with this is you can't even uh, modify your base anymore because with this conflict in terrain, you can't get rid of any of your base parts because it thinks that it's not completely empty. So what you have to do is to clear this area out. And one way to do this is to use these crash fish and they explode and clear out your area as you can see here and you could use your propulsion cannon to catch them and you then shoot them at the area that you need to so what I'm doing is I'm spawning uh, crash fish as we go along and then I pick them up with the uh, propulsion cannon and then shoot them into the area which I need to clear out and after a while it does clear out a good amount of area it's not the most convenient and there are other uh, more drastic ways of doing this but this crash pitch powder does work especially if you have just a small amount of area that you just need to clear so let me just yeah see as you can see the area is clearing up now the problem is is since you're blowing things up near the uh, station your station starts getting damaged so you immediately have to then go inside and fix all these damages that you have before you start getting fully flooded out so let me just fix these things and once it's Holy fixed then it just sword. goes back to being normal Trading again so this is a relatively not too difficult way of clearing out some areas now what you'll find is that not everything is easy to clear out so you will have to be a little bit careful and determine whether this is the way that that's a good solution for you but in my case what I found is that I, it took an absolutely unplayable game and brought it back to something that's relatively decent with a minor few changes in the terrain Now with regards to what you need to do to be able to put in text commands so that you could spawn the crash fish, uh, you have to turn off the disable console command and to do so you press F3 and you get this little window that has this little box here that's usually checked on so you have to turn it off and to do so you press F8 and you'll get your little cursor and with that you could turn the box on and off and so you turn that off and then after that you could either press enter or for my case it was the key underneath the escape key above the tab key that I had to push to be able to open up the text box and once the text box is open then of course you could put in your spawn command which in my case was to spawn crash fish so anyway that is uh, what you need to do to be able to put in your console commands and once that's done then you could actually spawn crash fish for clearing out the area okay well that wraps up this video with regards to how to fix crashes and lags in subnautica if you are experiencing this sort of effect, I hope you find the information in this video useful. Now there are a lot of other information out there in the uh, internet with regards to this problem and how to fix it. And I have, again, provided some links below in the comment section. So please take a look, or in the description section, I should say. Uh, okay, well, thank you very much for uh, watching this video as always. And in the next video, we'll continue on with our usual play-by-play -play of Subnautica. It's always a pleasure to make these videos for you. 
and uh, we can continue on with our subnautica adventure in the future and until the next video i wish you all the best and as always giant nice day everybody